Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 4. We are playing on critical mode. In the last episode, we checked out some things that we could do in Hundred Acre Wood and we also came here to Olympus Coliseum or the underworld, the cave of the dead here in Olympus Coliseum where we met Megara. Uh, she kind of has a crush on Hercules it would seem. I don't know. Let's continue on. Where do they dig these freaks up? Jeez Louise. Oh, they're nothing but trouble, the whole lot of them. So, uh, what are you gonna do about Hercules? He's made mincemeat out of every fighter you sent at him. <laughs> Pretty soon, the underworld's gonna be standing room only. Say, why don't you just pick somebody already dead and save him the trouble? <laughs> that... that is good. And I know just the warrior. Well, I'm scared too, Donald. Hades, come out. I'm scared too, Donald! That is the first time that we've seen Pain and Panic in the game, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, I love Pain and Panic. Also, these are new enemies right here that you can find. These are called Creeper Plants. If you guys watched my, um, my Chain of Memories videos, you will actually know that these plants first, um, that we've encountered them, they were, they were random enemies that you would find all the time in Chain of Memories. Uh, and this, they're still not a big deal. You can use Uproot as a reaction command to take care of them. Uh, they also give you pretty decent... I need to heal. Uh, they also give pretty darn decent experience. 24 experience each, which is a pretty darn gnarly. They also can drop a lot of MP and, uh, more specifically, a lot of money, which is pretty useful as well. Now, these bubbles, as I said in the last episode are good for MP, and if you guys missed it, those hook bats are also pretty darn neat. The creeper plants are kind of interesting, so they have an 8% chance to drop uh, uh, power shards, and a 4% drop to tr chance to drop bright shards. Obviously, if you have Lucky Lucky equipped, those go up and up. Uh, these lance knights that we can take care of real quick, unfortunately Donald passed away, that's unfortunate, but we leveled up! Our magic increased and our maximum AP increased. Uh, we could get Donald up if we so choose. Uh, and again, Cure is an AoE spell now, so you can, you know, you can use it in pretty, pretty cool situations. Uh, before it used to just be single target, but that's not the case anymore in, in this game. So we can go ahead and get tons of MP back, just because you can get so much from this. Um, now we can continue up here and fight off some of these guys. It looks like we're gonna have a nice combination of a bunch of different Heartless. Uh, I would say that you should probably take out these, the Lance, the Lance Knights first. Uh, just because they can do a lot of damage if if left if left alone. All right, let's continue up. By the by, uh, what's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time, I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You don't say. Well, maybe I should go. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Here's the deal I'm gonna offer you. I let you out of the slammer. No strings, you'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death. This is my story, and you're not part of it. Did you forget who you're talking to? I am the Lord of the Dead. <laughs> no wonder no one wants to die. You are fired! Oh, heavens! You again? Fight! Get up! 
All right, we have to fight Hades, but not really. This isn't a real fight against Hades. Uh, you just have to hit him a couple times, and you'll realize that you can't actually do any damage to him. And then just try to avoid any of his attacks that he tries to do, and you will be fine. Eventually, this fight is going to end once you realize that you can't actually hurt Hades here on his home turf. So we can go ahead, and there we go, and end the fight. I feel kind of funny. That's right. See, that's the thing. In the underworld, heroes are zeros. It comes with the territory. Go now. But I've got to talk to Hades. What was that? Can't fight him here. We have to go. Now. And we get Orin to join our party. This makes me want to play Final Fantasy X so bad! Uh, we're gonna leave Donald in the party just because we can't use Goofy. Because, obviously, we can't use Valor form, I should say. So, Goofy kind of loses his usefulness here. And, of course, we do want the AoE uh, capabilities of Donald for this fight. Because now, we have to ed head for the exit. But to do so, we have to basically beat all of the Heartless that are here while also avoiding the damage from Hades. Because Hades does have the potential of killing you pretty darn quickly with those giant fireballs that he throws at you. He'll also try to teleport to you really quickly and try to hurt you in that way. Uh, but we're just going to move on, and then as soon as we get over here, we're going to have to deal with a whole new spawn. And you need to be careful because eventually, uh, these guys could end up... Oops. Uh, oh, let me use this real quick. There we go. There we go. We will use Lance Tug. And that should, hopefully... Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right. We'll use Lance Tug yet again. There we go. We're able to take him out. Again, you just need to watch out for Hades and try to... Oh, come on. Come on, Shadow. Those shadows can be super annoying. All right, let's continue on. The path is open. We have one more platform to go to get away from Hades, who is on our tail. Uh, again, this could be a really challenging part for some... For uh, I know speedrunners tend to have... Like, this is this is a part where a run could go horribly wrong. Uh, so that's, that's kind of interesting to know. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to say? Goofy leveled up. He, his strength went up. Now, now we're going to use a Bushido so that we can go ahead and destroy all of these as much as we can. And then we'll use Shooting Star and then Banishing Blade. And now Shooting Star yet again. And then Banishing Blade and Shooting Star, Shooting Star and Spiral, which should hopefully be enough to kill this large body. It was not enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, guys. Remember what I said. Large bodies can do a tremendous amount of damage. If, if left alone. So I'm going to go ahead and use... Oh, already got cured. Thank you very much. And then we'll just go ahead and hit him. Down he goes. And then we can run away. Oh, we made it. You're really good. Are you some kind of hero? No, I'm no hero. I'm just an... Huh? Or Ooh. my name. I'm Sora. <laughs> it seems we were fated to meet. Maybe you need a guardian. <sighs> guardian? Thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. Huh. Thanks, but no thanks. Make sure you save. All right, so now we can go ahead and talk to Donald and Goofy. Hello, Donald. Orin is really powerful. He may deny it, but he must be a hero. Uh, what does Goofy say? I want to keep our promise with Megara, but Hades won't listen. We better leave. We can think about what to do next after we're out of here. All right, what about you, Orin? So the Underworld's curse is draining our strength. You must be weakened by the curse, too. Never forget that. All right, let's continue on. I got Heartless all over the underworld now, so you can leave those pipsqueaks to me. <laughs> Look, pal, you just keep working on turning Hercules into a Heartless, then he'll be all mine. This is my underworld, you idiot! I'll handle this myself! Cerberus, go! Well, looks like we're going to have Cerberus out of us, uh, after us, but first, let's go ahead and take down these rapid dogs. I talked about these in the last episode. They go down pretty darn easily. Nothing really to worry about in that regard. 
Then we're going to have a large body is going to show up right here, and we can go ahead and see if we can take him out. Watch out for that, because again, like I've said numerous times, that does have the capability of literally ending your life in one hit. I'm not even joking, guys. Uh, let's see if... Unfortunately, it looks like... Oh, okay, good. I was going to say, it looked like Orin wasn't able to take him down. Right there, Donald leveled up. His strength went up, and so did his max AP. Now, you can actually skip these fights if you want. I'm actually going to go ahead and use Bushido, uh, which is going to be able to do a tremendous amount of damage against these guys. And then we'll use Vanishing Blade and Spiral, which should hopefully end up killing all of these guys. Uh, let's see. The large body gets in, which doesn't look like he wanted to. There we go. Take him out. Get him out of the fight real quick. And then we can go ahead and s start fighting the, uh, the the stunned Lance Knight there. Ooh. Ooh. And avoid the rocks because those do damage. All right. Then we can continue on. You can skip all of these, by the way, uh, if you so choose. Like, there is no reason for you to fight this. You could literally just keep walking. Uh, but, again, I don't... I, I mean, we need, we need as much experience as we can get because, you know, trophies and stuff. I'm going to skip these guys, so... I'm going to skip them because we're kind of on a time crunch, man. We're time, kind of on a time crunch. I don't think you guys really want to watch five minutes of me fighting random ass Heartless. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go up here and be prepared, my friends. Be prepared. What? It's closed. We just got a book. Come on. Open. Will that open it? Yeah, I think so. Hurry! And now we have to fight Cerberus with just Orin and Sora. This is actually a wonderful chance to actually equip everything that you had on Goofy and whatnot and put that onto Sora because you're going to need it. This fight isn't very hard, but on critical, Cerberus can do a tremendous amount of damage. Luckily for us, though, for the most part, all of his attacks are super well, uh, uh, you're, you're going to see it coming. So we just saw, telegraphed is what I should say. Uh, so we actually just saw that he, you know, he's about to spin. Uh, you can kind of see when he's about to do that. Now, unfortunately, you can definitely tell when he's about to do his jump, which is, luckily for us, where he does most of his damage. And then we want to just see if we can lay into the heads and then be careful, because, we, again, we don't want to get hit by that. Uh, I'm just going to use a potion just to be safe. Now, eventually, he's going to start doing this, where he's casting these, these fireballs. You just got to stay away from these as much as you, as much as you can, because they can kill you very, very quickly. Uh, so we're just going to see if we can stay on top of him, see if we can get out of here. Uh, we shouldn't really have too much of a problem here, especially if we get out of there. Using that ledge is also super helpful. And then we will just go ahead and attack him once again, see if we can get him to his final health bar. Now, eventually, we might even... Oh, shit! Uh, we might be able to get him to his final health bar. Uh, be able to get to a reaction command is what I'm trying to say. Dog paddle. Which will do a tremendous amount of damage against Cerberus. Uh, pretty much will kill him at this point. Uh, so we'll just lay, see if we can lay into him as much as possible. Again, we don't have any healing from Donald and whatnot. So we need to stay on top of our own health. Uh, which is something that I'm really bad at on critical mode. Uh, and a lot of the reason for that is because... Let's see if I can heal up Orin. Uh, I don't think I got that heal on Orin. Which is too bad. Then come back down with Dog Paddle, which is going to stun Cerberus. And down he goes, Counter Guard, maximum HP increased. Nice. Boy, play hooky for a day, for old time's sake. They came to see me. They came to see a hero. I 
Can't let them down. <sighs> Don't worry, Meg. I'll be fine. What does a hero need rest for, huh? <laughs> See ya. Sora, don't let me down. Oh, we got bad news for you, girl. Phew! Huh? What happened to Orin? He can take care of himself. Let's go find Meg. Then we can try this again. So Orin will leave us. And it's just going to be the three of us. And in the next episode, we'll go and tell Megara that we were not successful and see how Hercules is doing. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to drop a like on it. It really does help me out. Showing up on screen right now is a Patreon button. So you can go and check out my Patreon page where for just a dollar a month, you can help support the channel and get early access to these videos. Also showing up is the playlist for this series as well as a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you. Thank you all for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to Cerberus.